Welcome children to our social studies class. Children today we are going to start with the third chapter of history that is the first farmers and herders. In the previous chapter we studied that the stone age can be divided into three periods. Paleolithic age, then Mesolithic age and Neolithic age. Okay. Paleolithic age we studied in detail in chapter 2 which is also known as Old Stone Age. Now in this chapter we are going to study Mesolithic and Neolithic age. Okay, So let's begin with it. Now first they are telling that as we studied in the last chapter, second chapter, Paleolithic age it lasted more than a million years and during the end of the, that age children paleolithic age the climate it started growing warmer there was a change seen in the climate and it started growing warmer and because of that change in climate there was an increase seen in the variety of plants and animals and because of this increase in variety of plants and animals children hunting became easier gathering food became easier and this automatically favored the human survival. It was under this condition, such conditions children, that Mesolithic age, that is the Middle Stone Age, okay, this is the other name for that, began. So here Mesolithic age or you can say the Middle a Stone Age began, okay. Remains of that time children, remains of Mesolithic age have been found in our country at various places they have been found including Mysore in Karnataka and parts of western and central India. Now whatever remains we have found of Mesolithic age okay we have studied them and our knowledge related to that period that how man lived what was the life that has derived from three types of sources which two, uh, three sources are there tools cave and rock paintings and burials so let us study them under the heading tools the main occupation children of man that remained same that remained hunting and gathering food okay but the tools were improving the tools which they were using earlier in comparison to that these tools were more polished okay see then the uh, third line they are telling that apart from chipped stone tools okay which they were using earlier mesolithic man they made smaller tools and these smaller tools were known as microliths now what is the meaning of micro micro means small so these were small and these were better than the one which were used earlier understood now these microliths children they were basically stone blades you all are aware of the term blade okay so these were stone blades and what was their length one to five centimeters okay and some of these microliths children they were fixed or you can say they were attached on wood okay they were fixed on wood or bone okay and then these were used as spears saws knives and arrows okay so different different uses were there of these tools now as there was an improvement in the tools and weapons okay technique which was used for hunting the animals then gathering naturally found food that also improved okay for example they are telling that man could now collect the honey okay and then with the help of bows and arrows children they could easily hunt the swift moving prey swift means rapid and prey means shikar and they also used hooks to fish okay during that time fish became an important item of food okay now talking about domestication of plants and animals in mesolithic age now what is the meaning of domestication the process in which plants and animals are brought under human control okay when a human being takes control of plants and animals this together is known as domestication okay 
now this domestication children it began in this mesolithic age or the middle stone age when man learned to grow crops and tame animals during this time man learned how to grow crops okay how to tame animals tame means to domesticate animals now during the middle stone age the mesolithic man they discovered seeds of certain grasses like barley wheat and they had started begin to gather these for food purpose but it might have happened that during the time they were gathering these okay seeds might have fallen down okay and sprouted sprouted means they might have begin to grow slowly slowly and then they found that there is a magic link between the seed and the plant okay slowly slowly they experimented this thing man experimented might have experimented this thing by dropping the seeds into the soil okay and then they might have found that the plants are growing okay so then slowly slowly man learned farming now one more thing mesolithic man noticed during this time was that some animals were there who often came near human habitations that means the place where they were living now why were these animals visiting this place in search of food which was discarded discarded means which was thrown away by these men okay so they were these animals were coming in in search of food understood now after noticing this children that there were a few animals which were visiting their place they decided to tame the animals okay unko palne ka socha okay for their own benefits so see it is written in the last line man learned to tame some of these animals and use them for their own benefits okay the dog was the first animal to be tamed which was the first animal to be tamed dog okay as i told you that they were looking for the benefits okay that by taming this particular animal what benefit they will have okay then they used to tame the animals so dog was the first animal to be tamed and where was it used it was used during the hunting and for keeping watch okay now during this time children middle stone age most of the people they lived in rock shelters and in caves gufa mein okay but there were some people okay who returned at the time of harvest to the places where they were growing the crops okay they sowed the seeds over there okay and then they stayed there until the crop was used up totally okay now these people who stayed over at such places they lived in their own primitive houses that means simple houses they were not ekdam sadharan ghar tha okay then houses were usually built in river valleys why they were built near rivers because getting water was very easy they could get plenty of water which was used for farming purpose okay and fertile soil also was there okay which was good for the growth of crops now talking about the paintings now many of the paintings the paintings in the cave in the walls of the caves okay then rock paintings okay which are found in our country india they belong to mesolithic age that is middle stone age and which were the main colors which they used in the painting red and white now you must be thinking that how colors were available during that time these colors children were made from rocks okay and naturally available minerals so all these were naturally made the paintings depict various activities of mesolithic people now when we look at the paintings we come to know that what all activities they performed the mesolithic man performed okay if we look at the paintings and read it properly we come to know about many things and they tell us about the mesolithic methods of hunting what all methods did they use for hunting purpose fishing purpose collecting honey then how did they worship and many other things okay 
Now, in the next paragraph, they are talking about an interesting thing which we notice that there is a close similarity between the poses which are drawn in the paintings, which are shown in the paintings, okay, and the tribal dances which are performed today. We see today, okay. These were probably the these were the dances, children, which were performed in rituals before men went out for hunting. Okay, probably they are telling. Rituals means rasm rivaj. So these dances were probably performed in rituals. Okay. Now talking about burials. See, what is the meaning of burial, children? It is the ceremony when a dead body is put in the ground. Okay, that means buried. Now, remains of human burials, children, have been found of that time, of Mesolithic time. Okay, at some of the Mesolithic sites, these remains have been found. And in these, children, we have found that the dead were buried along with the offerings such as food so they when the that dead body was buried they were buried with the offerings for example food and ornaments which they used in their day to day life understood see here it is given the dead were buried along with the offerings such as food and ornaments okay now talking children about the neolithic age with this we come to an end of Mesolithic age, okay, that is the Middle Stone Age. Now we will start with New Stone Age or you can say the Neolithic Age. Now here they are telling children that the period which follows Mesolithic Age, that period is known as Neolithic Age or New Stone Age. Now there are some areas in our country children where Neolithic sites have been excavated. Okay, that means, what is the meaning of excavate? To dig in the ground to look for old objects. Okay, <clears throat> now they are in Kashmir, the northern Vindhyas, the middle Ganga Valley, and eastern, northeastern, and southern India. Okay. Now, talking about farming and herding during the New Stone Age or the Neolithic Age. Okay. During this age, children, man changed from a food gatherer to a food producer. Earlier, they used to gather the food. Okay. They used to hunt and gather. Now, slowly, slowly, as man had learned farming, they produced their own food. Now, as the man had learned how to produce the food, okay, they started taking care of their crops. Okay. He sowed. Sowed means bona. So, he started taking care of the crops and also reared animals. That means Pashu Palan Karna. Next, what they are telling children. By studying the plant remains of that period which we have found, we come to know about what all crops were grown by these Neolithic farmers. Especially by studying the seeds which were found in the soil deposits of that period. Okay. Not only this, in the soil, charcoal also has been found at some places. Now, what is charcoal? It is a black substance which is produced from burning wood. So, this thing suggests that the forests were cleared by fire. Okay. So, slowly, slowly, as the years passed, children, man learnt how to select then preserve. Preserve means to keep it safe. Then sow good quality seeds. So now he was having a proper knowledge of the quality, about the quality of the seeds. Okay. Next children, they are telling that not only plant remains, remains of animal also have been found at Neolithic sites, which tells us that what all animals were domesticated by Neolithic man okay and slowly they also learned they also realized that mild nature that means gentle animals should be domesticated then next what they are telling see 
then we also come to know from the evidences evidences means saboot that neolithic man during that time used cattle that means cattle is male and female cows in the agricultural work they used then it was also used as means of transport okay next under the heading implications they are telling that this neolithic man children they knew that they will now continuously get the supply of food because now they knew how to grow crops okay they won't have to hunt here and there search for food here and there but that doesn't mean that they had discontinued hunting okay see it is written that man still hunted okay not only that they reared animals also and that rearing of animals assured him of continuous supply of meat milk and hides okay from the animals they got all these things so they took care of the animals also so now as man was knowing how to produce the food they were using this time okay their free time in developing their new skills because earlier children they were involved in continuous search for food but now as i told you they were knowing farming okay they used their free time in developing different different new skills okay next change which was seen during this time children was man had to stay at one place for a long time why because they had to take care of their crops okay so slowly slowly permanent human settlements began to be established okay earlier they used to wander from one place to another but now as they were growing crops they had to take care of the crops so they had to stay at one place for a long time and slowly community life began to take shape end of session hope you all enjoyed it See you in the next lecture.